I want to thank you for your uh, support, for your guidance, uh, for your counsel in this campaign. As you know, I'm a candidate uh, for mayor of Miami-Dade County. Uh, the ballots are already literally in the mailbox. Folks are already voting. I had the incredible privilege of serving as mayor uh, from 1996 to 2004. I'm delighted to offer uh, myself up again. I, and I'm particularly delighted this morning to be here at uh, WMDM. Uh, my regards, uh, my hello to Bishop Curry, dear, dear friend who I've known for so long. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank him uh, for not only for his friendship, but for his support in this campaign as I seek to return as mayor of Miami-Dade County. Thank you, Mayor. Um, of course, as we're out in the community, we gather questions from people, and I just want to present some of those questions this morning. One of the first questions are, um, what are, your, what are some of your priorities for the black community? A great question, and, and there's many, but let me start with really what's top of mind for, for many in the community, and that's, you know, what happened uh, to George Floyd and what we're doing to, to respond to it. Uh, you know, unfortunately, racism is real, uh, and, and it exists, and, and we need more leaders to say that and say it up front, like I'm saying it right now, but we also need leaders to take action. When I was mayor, Tangela, we had an independent review panel, uh, and I fully funded it, because I think having citizens' participation is important, and I support uh, Barbara Jordan's efforts to bring the citizens' independent review panel back. Barbara is also a strong supporter of my campaign, and I stand with her as we seek uh, to bring about uh, reform. Uh, minority contracting, I think it's important that we return to those days of race-based contracting, where we can set aside uh, contracting for uh, uh, local minority businesses to get those contracts. Gun violence, as you know, um, uh, Tangela is a big issue of mine. I think it's one of the reasons why in public office should be ashamed of the fact that if you're a uh, young black male in particular, but also young black female in certain zip codes of this county, your life expectancy is so much shorter because of gun violence. We need to be serious to tackle that issue. So those are just some of the highlights of public transportation, obviously affordable housing, but those are some of my, my, my priorities, which I think uh, will specifically address many of the concerns of the African American community here in Miami-Dade County. Thank you so much. Again, this is Tangela Sears interviewing Alex Pinellas, um, candidate for Miami-Dade County Mayor. As a former mayor, what are a few things you are most proud of? I'm, I'm very proud, Tangela, of working with community leaders like yourself and others to bring a violent crime down like we did with our tactical narcotics teams, our robbery and prevention details. We took thousands of guns off of our streets. Uh, only God knows how many lives we saved as a result of that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the work I did on early education with universal pre-kindergarten. That's, that's been a big boost uh, for uh, the um, education system, not just here in Miami-Dade County, but the entire state of Florida. Two million, two million four-year-olds in the state of Florida have gone through that program in the last, uh, what, 15 years. Including I'm, my granddaughter. Including your granddaughter. Well, ironically, now my daughter went, because my boys were too old, but, but now my daughter went, went, went through it. I'm very proud of that. The work we did on homelessness, which is still a model for the nation, and what can I say about transportation? Um, I fought hard to bring about a dedicated funding source for transportation, including rail along 27th Avenue North, only to see how that money has been grossly misspent over the last 15 years. So those are some of the things I'm very proud of. Okay, Mayor Alex Pinellas, um, why did you decide to return to public office? You know, I love public uh, service. Uh, I'm not doing this because I have term limits and I'm looking for the next job, or I need the title, or the pay raise. That's not why I'm doing this, Tangela. I love Miami-Dade County. I've lived here my entire, my entire life. Public service is my calling. And thankfully, I'm in a position in my life right now where I could do this because I want to do it. And that liberates me really just to do what's, what, what's right. But the other motivation is when I go back and I look at the last 15 years, we have not made progress on issues that I really care about. Afford, the, the affordability crisis is worse. There's been no meaningful improvement on public transportation uh, at all uh, in, in this county. Uh, we, we still have too much gun violence and violence in general. Uh, these are real issues and I go back and I, 
And, and I see where we are as a community. We've not addressed our environmental concerns. These are things that I'm very concerned about. And I think we need uh, proven leadership. And now, and, and by the way, those were issues and concerns I had before COVID, right? Now in the midst of COVID, uh, I'm very concerned about the fact that we need someone that's not gonna forget those pre-COVID priorities, but has the experience and the ability to lead us through this crisis. Like I led us through so many others. I was mayor, um, Tangela, you know, during 22 different storms. Uh, I, I, the aftermath of 9-11, which had its parallels, right, with the economic issues that we're facing now. I think the county needs that kind of experienced leadership in these very, very difficult times. Thank you. And again, this is Tangela Sears interviewing Alex Pinellas, candidate for mayor. Mayor Pinellas, how have you been responding to the negative attacks on you? I, well, I've been responding to them by sharing the fact that uh, so many people in the community are supporting me, and that's why I'm being attacked, Angela. Uh, I've been so blessed to have Barbara Jordan supporting my campaign, Bishop Curry, uh, 22 pastors last week, uh, uh, and many more to come endorsed my campaign, including Carl Johnson, including um, uh, Art Jackson, Alfonso Jackson, strong faith leaders. Uh, not to mention so many uh, current and former elected officials who are standing by me. So then the attacks start because when others don't have, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, a platform to stand on or they don't have accomplishments to stand on, then what they try to do is attack. But I'm not going to go there. Uh, I'm going to stay on the positive. Uh, I feel very, very upbeat about the future of this county. Uh, I, I, I want to be a mayor like I was before for all the people of Miami-Dade County, for everybody. I always was, and, um, and, that's what, and that's what I'm gonna focus on in this campaign, and that's why there's so many leaders in the African-American, the, the, the Caribbean-American community that are standing right next to me because they know I will be a uh, mayor for all. One of, the, one of the, 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 the commercials many are listening now is, my, is from my dear friend, uh, Kendrick Meek, what, 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 what an incredible individual and how we work together. The, the same year I passed universal pre-kindergarten was the year he passed the class size of right. if you remember. Right. I mean, that's the kind of collaboration we had with, you know, at the time we were younger, obviously, uh, younger leaders from different parts of town, but it didn't matter. We worked together. And that's what I want to do again now. Again, this is Tangela Sears with Florida Parents and Red Children interviewing Alex Pinellas, candidate for Miami-Dade County Mayor. Mayor, as you know, COVID-19 greatly impacts the black community. Jackson is our community safety net hospital. COVID-19 is devastating the health system financially. What do you see as your role in ensuring that the, the, the visual the vital health system remains sustainable for the long term. What a great question. It's not just Jackson. It's our primary care centers around town. It's, it's the entire network of, of, of health care. And we know that uh, African Americans are particularly vulnerable, right, because of underlying um, uh, physical conditions, asthma, diabetes, so, so many other conditions that, that make African Americans more prone not only to uh, obviously getting the virus, uh, but getting very sick as a result of it. And that, and that concerns me. It concerns me um, tremendously. Uh, we, ha we have to uh, do everything in our power to maintain the, faci the, the fiscal uh, security of Jackson Memorial Hospital, which truly is our safety net of, of healthcare. But we have to do more because COVID's here now, hopefully it goes away later. We also have to address these underlying health issues that impact the African-American community more than other communities. And I'm committed to that. Um, I'm committed to the mental health issue, which is a big issue. As you know, we're, we're having our mental health forum this evening. Mental health is a, was a crisis before COVID, and it's gonna be much more now as a result of COVID. So these are all issues that I'm very concerned about as well. Thank you, Mayor Alex Pinellas. Tell us about how you decreased gun violence when you served as mayor in 2000, and what will you do to decrease gun violence in 2020? I mean, I do want to say gun violence did decrease um, for, for many years because of your leadership, but we're back here again today, and I just want to know what did you do that time to decrease it, 
and what will you do when you become mayor to decrease what's going on in our community today? That's a great question because there, there are some parallels, but I think there's a lot of new things we need to do because of technology and the like. So let me share some of them. You know, I was not an expert, obviously, on how to reduce violence. So, so I met with the experts. I met with the community. And uh, what was recommended to me at that time was uh, by reducing the overall level of violent crime, whether it was robberies, burglaries, uh, homicides, you would also be able to get guns off the street. And that's exactly what we did. We invested in in the tactical narcotics teams, and we invested in our robbery intervention details. Our anti-gang units were, were bolstered. And we took thousands of guns off the street uh, as a result of that, of that program. Uh, and I think that helped tremendously. Um, and uh, violent crime went down 44%. Um, and we saw uh, you know, safer neighborhoods. Now, I think that while there's some parallels, and there, we have to invest more, obviously, in programs that are proven, uh, to bring down violence. We also have to work with the community. One of the things that I've learned through, through your help, uh, uh, Tangela, is for example, we need to support the parents, uh, the family members of the victims, uh, because what, what ends up happening is these horrible crimes happen and then no one's brought to justice. So then it happens again and again. So you're not only not supporting the, 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 the parents and the family members of the victims, but you're leaving people who should be brought to justice, you're leaving them out there to co commit those crimes again. So more resources for investigatory uh, uh, processes, more um, support for um, you know, uh, support services for, for victims, uh, counseling for victims, and a very clear statement from leaders that if you know, you saw something. You need to you need you need to report it. And then, how do we how do we support those witnesses so they don't feel that they're going to be retaliated against? So that's one part. The other part is technology. We've we've had the opportunity to visit with Chief Kalina and others. There's a lot of great technology out there. Hotspot uh, cameras, uh, the 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 shooter uh, technology that immediately uh, advises police officers when a shot has been fired, those are the kinds of things we need to. And then finally, work with our community-based organizations, our churches, our faith-based organizations. And I think that's critical. It's a whole of a community approach. Thank you, and I'm glad to hear someone say that they will put funds into the investigational services because that's what's needed within the police department along with mental health services and other. We have one minute left, and I'm gonna ask Mayor Pinellas to just you know, let us know why it's important to go out and vote for you and give us your punch number as well. Well, first of all, Tanja, thank you. I'm delighted to be here. I want to thank Bishop Curry again for his support in this campaign. I hope the people of Miami-Dade County uh, seriously consider my candidacy, first because of my experience. I think we need an experienced leader right now in these very, very difficult moments. But most importantly, I was before, and again, I will be a mayor for all the people of Miami-Dade County. I'm not campaigning in just one part of town. Uh, I'm campaigning in every corner of this county because I truly want to bring forth policies that will benefit all of us. I want to bring hope. I want to rise everybody up in, in this community. Uh, again, I'm Alex Pinellas. My punch number is 364, 364. Many of you have already received those ballots uh, in the mail. Uh, please start filling them out. I'm Alex Pinellas. It's number 364. Tangela, thank you. I want to thank Bishop Curry, and I want to thank the community for their support. Thank you so much, Alex Pinellas.